Hello there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting at the UK. You know me by now. I um, talk on a various number of subjects. Um, today, well, as usual, you can put the thumbs up, thumbs down, you can like and you can subscribe and you can interact with my subscribers and returning subscribers. Thank you for checking in on me and seeing what I'm talking about and giving your comments. Um, yeah, today I've got a couple of videos, um, very, very short, self-explanatory, so I'm not going to say much. I might add lib at the end, okay? This is the first one. It's to do with um, shops overcharging for toilet rolls, no less. Sorry, could, could you just repeat that? How much are the toilet rolls? Yes, I am. Did you say £10 for toilet rolls? Excuse me, please. So here I am in Cannons Park Ken, uh, News Agent, and this is the truth. This man here is selling, and this lady here, toilet rolls for £10. You call the police. You tell them now, because you are criminals. You get on the phone to the police. You waste their time. I'm telling you here and now. You are calling the police. My name is Craig Kent. Yes, I've been coming to this shop for 47 years. You have. I'm not harassing you. Basically, we've got a toilet roll that we're selling. Unfortunately, we are having to sell it at a slightly high price, but he's recording me right now and he's actually harassing us. I'm not harassing you. I'm telling you, my name is Craig Kent. I'll give you my address. Let me speak to them. Yes, get the police right now. This lady, this man, selling toilet rolls for 10 pounds 10 pounds let's have a look at the shop so do not go in this shop whatever you do cannons park do not use this shop ever okay and now to support that this is a message to all our uh, indian and pakistani and halal suppliers this is a time of national crisis we're in uncharted territory and we need to all get together and collectively help where we can and what we can. From what I hear, the major stores, Asda, Morrison's, Summerfields, Waitrose, and uh, all the others have got together, and Aldi, there has been no price increase. They're working together collectively in this effort. Yet our Muslims and our Asian shops are actually putting things up double, treble, and quadruple. This is not only uncivilized, but it is actually out of order and completely against the humanity. And the crisis now we're facing is for the whole of our society. So if you have any ethics and if any morals, reduce the prices to as they were. Yeah, and it's so true because you know those little packets of Indomie um, noodles? You normally get four for a pound. They're selling them for 49p each. Anyway, if you go into any of these stores and you find that they are overcharging or they put up the price and you know that the price was different before this crisis, you can report them to trading standards to find out the um, telephone number and details of trading standards. All you've got to do is Google it. I mean, um, I saw an email for trading standards and I was going to report who I saw, but the email didn't work. So... They do have authentic um, telephone numbers that you can call. So just call Trading Standards and report these people because it's unfair. People are struggling as they are and to double the price and exploit the situation, it's really, really unethical. And that's all I've got to say. Short and sweet. Have a good day. Bye-bye.